Hey, it's Gavin here, and today I've got an absolute corker for you. It's only a short one, it's about 15 minutes long with a little bit of a stretch and recovery afterwards. But we're going to go 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, five different exercises. Are you ready? The first one is stance jacks. Looks like this. Hop your feet to the side, stick your butt out, and away we go. From the side, it looks like this. Stick your ass right back. So it's not a squat, okay? So we're not trying to jump into this position, okay? But stays high, and we just hop the feet in and out. Now, if this one is too difficult for you, what you can do instead, step and reach, okay? Same thing, keep your butt high, back straight. What we want to avoid is the ugly looking position, that, that's not good. Hunchback, no, 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 no. Okay, but if you know what you're doing, if you're familiar with this exercise, you can pick it up. I'm gonna face you, see how we're looking here. Let's get it on. 10 seconds rest coming up. All right, next up we have cross body mountain climbers. If you are struggling with this one, your modification will be hands on a chair or a table. However, if you're good to go, you can go full speed, like so. Keep it tidy, bring the, the knee across to the opposite elbow. That's what we're looking for here. This is a little rotation as you bring your knee across. That's it, we're looking good. Not a bad start. Now remember, if you are struggling, then it helps if you wanna do it on a higher platform. For example, up here, that's gonna take some of the weight off make it a touch easier but if you need to rest as well that's fine give yourself a few seconds and then get back with it all right we're running here for 50 seconds and we're doing three rounds of this lot back up on your feet and breathe all right squats are up next feet a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart come down push your knees out to the side stand tall Back down, control. What we want to avoid is the knees coming into this position and the weight going forward onto the, the toes. So weight has got to be on the heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes at the bottom. Breathe out, stand tall. Drop it down, come back up. And again, if you're familiar with this exercise, you can start to speed it up, but it all depends on your fitness level. If you're just starting out, then this might be a little bit too quick for you. So slow it down. Weight on the heels, pushing up through those heels. Here we go. I'm gonna face you. Let's keep it going. All right, rest is coming up soon. Relax, 10 seconds. Control that breathing. We're gonna go press ups next up. Then I'm gonna go straight down now. Once again, modification. If you can't do full press ups, you will do them on a chair or a table. Good form, straight line through the body. This is what we're looking for, for the ankle up through the hip to the shoulder. What we don't want is this or this, okay? Don't want any sagging hips. Don't want you humping the ground so it looks like this. That's no go, okay? This is probably the toughest one out of all the exercises we've got today. And watch the yo-yo head as well. What I mean by that is when you sink into that push-up position, your head doesn't drop as well. So keep your head up. Two, one. There we go. Again, a little rest. Now we've got the big guns. The burpees are coming out to play, okay? Burpees, again, modifications. First one, this is how it looks. Knees to elbows, jump, and clap. If you want a modified version, walk out, back in. Clap. I'll show you that one again. One leg at a time. And, and again, if that's too tough, what you do, put your hands on a chair, table. That's gonna make it easy for you. I'm gonna go full version for this one. Now you may see some people drop their chest right down to the ground. However, we're not doing that one today. Good pace, knees, 
into the elbows. Get a little hop off the ground. Clap those hands. Two, one. Rest. Okay, so burpees are the tough ones there. Now it's up to you how hard you work in these next two rounds, okay? Trying to push it. Should be feeling warm now, but now it's time to go. Okay, so stance jacks. Picking up the pace a little bit from that last round. All right, we should know what we're doing now. So remember, butt stays high. Reach down towards the ground. Keep your head up back straight. Come on, keep on it. All right, this is real, I'm doing it with you. Come on, a little quicker. Probably stun hear me breathe a little heavier as well. Keep going, two, one. All right, so cross body mountain climbers again. Get yourself ready. Use a chair or a table if you need to. And again, if you need to rest at any point, that's okay. Just give yourself a few seconds, get back with it. Try and control the breathing. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Get that rotation in there. Nice job so far, come on. Keep going, keep pushing. Shoulders are gonna tire as well on this one. If you're tall or perhaps carrying a little bit extra weight, your shoulders will hurt on this one. Come on, nearly there. Three, two, and one. Back up, we have the squats. Remember, squats, head up, shoulders back, back straight, avoid that hunchback. Okay, here we go. Find your own pace, push those knees out, make sure the weight's on the heels. Again, from the side, back straight. Now, if you can't, get your butt down nice and low and try to at least get your butt level with the knees. That's what we're looking for. It might be that you need to open up your legs a little bit further because what you often find is people teach you to have feet shot apart. That's okay for some people who've got the flexibility, but there's a hell of a lot of people who haven't. So open your hips up, let those toes point to the side slightly. Come on, let's do this. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're back on the push-ups. Again, table, chair, try and avoid doing them on the knees if you can. All right, and the reason I say that is because if you do them on the knees all the time, your core muscles never learn what they should be doing. All right, let's come on, let's rip this out. As many as we can in the time. Try not to pace it. If we need to rest, we need to rest. Urgh. Come on, digging deep now. <sighs> Come on, Walshie. All right, same to you at home. You keep pushing. Come on. <sighs> Come on, a few more seconds. I'll rest. Take your arms out. All right, back on the burpees. Get ready. Walk out burpees or full. Let's go. Knees to elbows, up and clap. Let's go, go, go. Come on, good pace. Jump high. Arms right overhead. Remember, if you need to rest at any point, that's okay. But join me as quick as you can. Don't stand around. 
Come on. Eight seconds. Go, go, go. One more, one more. All right, deep breath. Should be starting to feel this now. Third and final round. Stance checks, here we come. Come on, let's get it going. Anything you've got left in the tank now, and now's the time to throw it in. If you're using that modified version of this one, pick it up. Don't slow it down, go faster. Keep your butt high, back straight. Come on, the legs are tiring. Come on, quick feet. Get together and back out. 10 seconds. Come on, head up. Don't drop your head. Stay looking at me. Two, one, boom. 10 seconds, need this rest. Cross body mountain climbers. This one's gonna be tough now. All right, here we go. Find a rhythm and just stay in that zone. Come on. There's a lot of questions gonna be fine through your head here. Telling you to stop. Just like mine. Come on. I'm not dropping down, just a little breather. Come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. 12 seconds to go. Come on, shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and one. On your feet. Great job there. All right, we've got the squats. Are you ready? Good pace on the squats. Up and down. Hands out for balance at the bottom. Push those knees out, weight on the heels, control. Make sure you get nice and low, as low as your butt can go. Come on, doing good now. Not long left. About two and a half minutes left. And then we're stretching out. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Uh, eight seconds to go. Keep going, keep going. Two and one. On the press ups, AKA the push ups, AKA gonna hurt a little bit. All right, let's do this. Again, don't try and pace it as many as you can. What makes this really tough now is because we're out of breath. Not being able to get enough oxygen into those muscles. Come on. And watch your technique now. Shake it out. Come back, back on again. Straight line through the body. Watch your head. Make sure it doesn't sink down to the ground. Come on, a few more seconds, 10 seconds, let's go. Finish it off in style. One more. All right, burpees to finish this. Now, if you were doing the walkout burpees, try and do the full ones. And up, let's get up there. Knees to elbows every time. Let's go, go, go. Try not to stand at the top too long, unlike me. Go, big, big effort. Fifteen seconds to go. 
to the finish line. And again, one more for luck. And up. Whew. Oh yeah. All right, deep breaths. Stay on your feet. All right, grab some water. Oh yeah. That was nice. Great job there. Short, sharp. That's how we like it. Get your workout done. Get out and get on the rest of your day. Let <sighs> my lungs recover a little bit. So as you can tell there, working through those exercises, when you're already out of breath, makes it much more difficult, especially on things like the press-ups, just because you can't breathe as much as you'd like to. <sighs> All right, but now it's time to start the stretch. Hopefully the lungs have recovered a little bit. Reach down towards the ground. Lift your butt up high. Push your chest down towards the ground. Don't worry if you can't touch the ground. And ignore those seagulls hacking at us. All right. Just a little stretch out to the side. And the other. All right, we're nearly done here. Flip it around. Then you go hip flexors. Drop your hips down. Push forward. You can fill it in the pocket. Again, all while doing this, trying to control the breathing. Stand tall. Spin it around. Other side. Big long lunge, push those hips forward then. Fill that in the pocket. Nearly there. Stand tall. All right, quads. So front of the thigh. Lift the leg up, push your knees together and then push your hips forward. You're gonna get a better stretch there. You can also do this line down if you want to if your flexibility is not too hot. Same on the other side. Don't forget to put your knees together, shoulders back, push your hips forward. Much, much better stretch. Okay, from there, use yourself. Push your arm against the wall for that stretch through the chest. Trying to open it up. And the other way around. All right, time is about to go off. Which means we're nearly done. I just want you to roll out the shoulders. Nice big circles. And the other way. Big circles again. And we are done. So great job there, and I will see you next time. Take care for now. Bye-bye.